Introduction. Wow, Mama! It's really interesting. So many types of rocks. I have learned that the early man used to produce fire by rubbing the rocks. Yes, dear. You are right. Even in today's world, rocks are widely used in everyday life. Wow! So colorful. What are these, Mama? These are minerals, dear. Students, the whole earth is made of different rocks and minerals. Come along to know more about these in the lesson, rocks and minerals. Objectives. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to know about rocks, discuss the three types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Learn about minerals. Give the examples of minerals. List the uses of rocks and minerals. Rocks are all around us. You can see rocks in your yard, on your street, on a road, everywhere you look. Pencil, lead, chalk, bricks are all rocks. Any natural mass of matter that makes up the Earth's crust is called a rock. Do you know sand and mud are also rocks? Rocks can be of different size and color. The process that breaks rocks down into smaller pieces is called weathering. We now know that the Earth's crust is made up of various types of rocks. The three major types are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Let's study about them in detail. Igneous means made from fire. When volcanoes erupt, it causes the liquid rock to rise above the ground. When this liquid rock is present inside the earth, it is called magma. This magma cools and becomes solid. Rocks thus formed are called igneous rocks. They are also called primary rocks. Granite is an example of igneous rock. The second type of rock is sedimentary rock. These are also called sitting rocks. Rocks roll down, crack and hit each other. Then they are broken down into small particles. These smaller particles are called sediments. The sediments are transported and deposited by wind, water, etc. These loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rocks. These types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks. Limestone and sandstone are the examples of sedimentary rock. The third type of rock is made out of the first two types. These are metamorphic or changed rocks. Igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure. For example, clay changes into slate and limestone into marble. Uses of rocks Rocks are very useful to us. Rocks are used in games like pitu, hopscotch, that is, stapu, etc. The hard rocks are used for making roads, houses and buildings. Rocks are also used to build aluminium baseball bats, washing machines, video games, airplanes, cars, jewelries, etc. Introduction Wow, Mama! It's really interesting! So many types of rocks. I have learned that the early man used to produce fire by rubbing the rocks. Yes, dear. You are right. Even in today's world, rocks are widely used in everyday life. Wow! So colorful! What are these, Mama? 
These are minerals, dear. Students, the whole earth is made of different rocks and minerals. Come along to know more about these in the lesson, Rocks and Minerals. Minerals We have learnt about rocks. All rocks are made of minerals. Wondering what minerals are? Come, let us know. Think of a chocolate cookie as a rock. The cookie is made of flour, butter, sugar and chocolate. The cookie is like a rock and the flour, butter, sugar and chocolate are like minerals. Thus, minerals are naturally occurring pure substances from which rocks are formed. There are about 3000 different minerals in the world among which diamond is the hardest mineral. Quartz and calcite are two common examples of minerals. Examples of Minerals Minerals are very important to humankind. Some minerals are used as fuels, for example, coal, natural gas and petroleum. Some are used in industries like iron, copper, aluminium, platinum, etc. Minerals like gold, lithium are used in medicines. Nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are used in fertilizers. Gold, silver, diamond are used in jewellery. Uses of Minerals Minerals play an important role in our lives. Let's discuss some of the uses of it. Minerals are used in the production of cement. It is used in making glass, electrical components and optical lenses. These are also used in fertilizers, medicines, coins and jewellery. Minerals are naturally occurring pure substances from which rocks are formed. Quartz and calcite are the common examples of minerals. Rocks and minerals are widely used in our lives.